things getting hot in that cord cutting world. We got two behemoths of crony capitalism fighting each other, slapping penises with each other, rubbing vaginas, however you want to say it. And we get to sit back and watch it play out. But first, let me put on my plus seven glasses of sexy as hell. Work on skilling up my craft, giving you guys a better YouTube experience, something better to look at. HD IPTV sponsored this video. They're offering you all the stuff you're seeing on the screen for $14 a month. You can get three months for $35. You can get everything you see, pay-per-views, whatever you want, all that. And also, if you're trying to get in shape, check out Two Week Diet. Both links are in the video description. So I don't know if you guys know, but Sling TV, some of you have used it. They are a cord cutting method for live TV. Their parent company is Dish, where they just dropped HBO. And I want you guys to get the conversa conversation started early. Have you used Sling? Did you like it? How do you feel about it? They drop HBO, and the reason being is that they're having an infight, parent company versus parent company. So Dish is fighting AT&T. And what they're saying is AT&T tried to make Dish guarantee, or Sling, excuse me, guarantee a set number of subscribers, right? So that's just like when we go buy a cell phone nowadays, people trying to put us under contract. You know, people trying to guarantee their money. AT&T fired back and said, hell to the gnaw, Dish. We're doing what we're doing because you all are collaborating with the DOJ to block AT&T's merger with Time Warner Cable. How do you guys think I feel about it? Y'all should already know. Fuck all of them. They're all monopolies. The fact that they all can interweave with the, the government as private entities is bad for us in the first damn place. Where is that veil of separation? There ain't one. It's funny to me how these two companies, when it comes to colluding to keep a little mini monopoly, like three, four companies controlling something, oh, their asses have come together for that because they was together offering these services with HBO, Sling Dish, and AT&T Direct Now. They was together on that. But the minute one of these companies is gonna be bigger than the other one so they can screw the majority of the American people, now they wanna all of a sudden try to act like they need sympathy card. I feel nothing for any of them. Prices should have been cut a long time ago. It shouldn't take outrage from the cord cutting community, outrage from customers, and even all the things people are calling piracy, it shouldn't even have never come to any of that in order for you to do right by the consumer. So AT&T is trying to get this merger done with Time Warner. They're saying Dish is colluding with the DOJ to block it, and why wouldn't they? You're gonna suck up half the marketplace. And for whatever the reason, I hope it doesn't happen. As a supporter of free market capitalism, y'all know monopolies, that are in bed with governments are bad. So let's hope that that doesn't happen. Moving right along in other core cutting news. Did y'all know T-Mobile, one of my favorite companies because they bust up monopolies. They was one of the first cell phone companies to do away without contracts, to let you buy your cell phone on a plan that was pretty affordable. Well, they're trying to do a TV service. Get this, they're planning to launch in 2019 something to, to rival YouTube TV, Hulu, and all that. Everybody is getting into a cord cutting service, ladies and gentlemen. The only problem is, unless you go underground, you're not gonna be able to get everything you want from one place because the fees are just ridiculous. I was reading a little bit about what they're saying. Um, T-Mobile is having to pay for fees and initially what they might charge is probably gonna be about $10 more than anybody else because of what they're having to pay to get these licensing fees. Now they're planning to launch this service um, sometime mid 2019. Um, they're not saying what the price is gonna be, nor are they saying what they're gonna offer. I do believe in T-Mobile and we'll just have to see what happens with that. Last thing on cord cutting this week. Y'all remember my video I did on 5G internet hitting the marketplace this month with Verizon. T-Mobile is bringing 
5G to the marketplace next year. And they're talking about launching in a hundred cities. They've already got the hardware in place. They would just need to load up the software when you get the device in your home. And what they're gonna to try to do to be different from Verizon, with Verizon's 5G, you're gonna to have to have a technician come to your home, put a little apparatus outside of your house to go along with the 5G connector that you're gonna have in your home. T-Mobile is looking for you to just have a little box that you pull out, open up, sit it in the corner, plug it up, and that is your hotspot. If they can pull this off, because we've already talked about how fast 5G is gonna be compared to the fastest cable fiber optic internet you can get right now. It's gonna kick its butt by about five times. If you can have that in your home, man, T-Mobile's gonna open up the door and they are most likely gonna be cheaper than what you're gonna get from Verizon. The only thing someone needs to come up with, and I wish I knew how to invent it, is a way you can take that type of technology with you on the road. If someone can come up with a way or an app that can maybe have you connect the hotspot in your home to an app on your phone and the app will let you open up so that you can get the Wi-Fi that's in your home on the road wherever you go, I just gave somebody a multi-million dollar idea. Don't forget about a brother if you're able to do it because y'all know this was my idea. And that's going to do it for cord cutting this week, keeping you updated on what's going on. Don't forget to like my video, comment and subscribe. Go get yourself that life game. Let me know about any news you've heard going on in the cord cutting community, anything you're looking forward to, anything you've heard, any nuances that we can talk about to help people keep making them gains, saving that money in cord cutting. And until the next sexy as hell video, I'll see you.